Hello and welcome to our first video of server review. So this is like a pilot episode. Those videos will be just random stuff. There is like no scripted, you know, stuff that's gonna happen. We will just find a server. That sounds interesting. Join a server, play a bit, see what they offer and yeah, play around. So let's begin. The server in question that I found out is called X Gaming. It's not related to Twitter in any way or Elon Musk. And there's, well, another issue and it's in United States. Which means that for me that's a bit of pink. But I'll find it or join it anyways because I'll show you on the screen right now what is this server about. It's interesting and sounds interesting so let's hop on and see what they offer. And the magic connecting the server screen. Loading terrain, chat messages can be verified and wait a second. Is it correct server? Hold on. Well, looks like we came to a full stop on this first episode. So I guess I'm going to find a new server because I didn't know I have to register and I didn't know I need to get a referral to this server. So yeah, that's that. So let's find another server quickly. And before I go and continue looking for servers, I absolutely hate this server, like purple prison, like look at that, like it's screaming low attention span, like they are inflating their numbers, like there's so many videos, like it's not even 792 players, it's if not half of that. As you can see, what was this month? So four days have passed, you have 792 players, but only 82 votes. I mean, something doesn't add up, but yeah, to everyone out there, even if it's like like two of you watching, I never recommend this server. Like, it's just annoying by looking at it. Imagine playing on it. It's on every single way they are just made to take away your money. Those guys looks like interesting bunch, so let's give them a try. So it's called... Uh, craft global and as you can see it focuses on survivor and survival and their main number one priority is community so let's hop on and see what do they have and if they deliver on community part and the moment of truth don't be a cracked server please okay so this server recommends a custom user resource pack okay that's nice and applying resource pack okay that's a nice feature I mean, you know, Minecraft applies resource pack when you join servers, but it putting you into spectator mode. So, Craft Global, welcome, you're currently in the hub, select the server you would like to join and start your journey. Oh no. The first issue, okay, the first issue we found out is it's a low player count server and it's a hub server. Now, what it means, like, if you don't have a community, I learned that from my past mistakes. Don't create hub servers. Like you're just gonna, you're just gonna split your player base even further. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe just they have a hub and they have just one server, which is confusing. Why do you need a hub? Oh, that's interesting actually. Okay, hello. Thanks. Th that actually. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I repeat myself, but the tab seems nice. I actually pretty nice. The spawn looks pretty darn good. I mean, I'm not sure what did I expect by that I didn't expect this. I'm without a word, so let's see what they offer. So they have the usual player warps. And as by the looks of it, custom items, so that's interesting. Player warps, shop warps, okay, the classic warps, shop zone. Oops, I'm sorry if you hear me sniffing, but I'm a bit clogged up. Shop zone, oh, shop zone is like shop, okay, okay, I get it. Interesting name for a shop. So, rank menu, let me see. Free ranks. Okay, travel, citizens, merchant, mercenary, cleric, noble, and royal. 
okay i already like like everything around here because it's pretty damn good warp menu uh, yeah, either i have bad ping like i don't have that bad of a ping so i'm not sure why is it a bit delayed but faster ball zone shop piñata okay leaderboards great parkour pet shop pvp fishing and invoice oh i actually know what the invoice is ranks oh that that will teleport me to fast travel to some kind of oh okay funny thing to call crates but it's called royal market and yeah red loot box yellow blue purple and green which i find it interesting that they you know named such well Simple thing, a royal market. I would never guess this guy sells loot boxes, but it makes sense because, you know, kings want to profit off you. Well, I just had a nice, lovely chat with those people and I got a gift, so maybe I'll change my plans from like server review Wednesdays to server review on Dragon Spine. Which, you know, I mean, I didn't expect at all all of this. I'm I'm without the words because you know when you usually see a server on listing and it has low player count you don't expect this. So yeah, let's just continue exploring and let's see what we have. So crates, refinery. Okay, uh, okay, that's interesting. So yeah, I just asked what is going on and it seems it's broken from the recent update, but they are fixing on it. So yeah, this guy is gonna get fixed. And as you can see, this is their currency, which I guess you... Uh, uh -huh, oh, it's crafting station. Okay, it's interesting stuff. So cosmetics for scales. Okay, shop exchange and this guy exchanges vault key for wild key. But I treasure maps for wild key and nexus key. What is that? Dragon scale. Okay, looks like there's a lot of stuff to do here. Flare, safari net. I think I know what is this for catching animals. It's a plugin called safari nets. And actually this plugin, if I'm not wrong, is quick shop. So here you have a quick shop plugin in the action. If I'm not wrong. It's called admin shop, but I think it's quick shop. I never created admin shop with quick shop. Barrier and uh, okay, that's barrier with a star. But yeah, let's see what do they have. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like you see, this is like <laughs> out of my ideas in this server. But this time I'm not the owner, but I'm a player, which kind of feels relaxing because this is actually what I had on our server well, I still do have while our server is live but it will be shut down on 15th but I had uh, light blocks in the voting crates because you know just to fill something up and give players ability to light up their stuff without the need of torches downside is if you place it you can't pick it up and if you place a block over it it shuts down so yeah there's plus side and upsides, or no downsides. Yeah, my English is amazing. So I accidentally just sent myself to spawn up once again, and I just realized my microphone going off the charts, off the red charts right now. So I'm gonna need to fix that too. Well, not in this video, but in the next video. Amazing life, because I replugged my USB microphone to another slot, and it completely nuked the software. Amazing, anyway, click me to play survival, okay, resources, I guess this is a resource world, resource world, yeah, no, yeah, resource world, so yeah, they have resource world and resource nether, okay, and it resets every five months, I mean, okay, if resets every five months. I would make it, for example, like three months, because five months seems a bit too long. And even then, if you don't have a lot of players, I don't think it will get mined out. But yeah, I'm just giving random suggestions. Farmer's Market, Silicrops Trader, okay. 
Okay. Okay, interesting. So that looks like there's a lot of systems. Oh. Okay. That's actually new and I don't have permission to go back. So another bug to report to the guys because I already love their server. I mean, it's 10 out of 10. Well, what is there else to say? But yeah, let's exit out and see. So load menu and oh, that's okay. So load menu like they have, I think, 11 links. Yeah, so 9, 10. I think it said 11, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's weird. But anyways, what would I do here is maybe add a bit of background because the the, the, the looking glasses blend with the background a bit and it's not that easily to see them. I mean, it's, you know, you're still gonna click on them, you're gonna, not gonna miss them, but it would be a quality of life. Improvement. Quest menu. Okay, this looks like a traditional quest menu. Nothing special here. Yeah, the basic quest menu. We've seen this the hundred times. Well, I did. I don't know if you did, but you know. Draft menu. Okay, the classic alchemist, digger, farmer, fisherman, hunter, smelter, woodcutter, and miner. Let me see. Yeah, it uses the jobs reborn plugin and daily rewards. Of course, as you can see, you can climb them. And yeah. So let's see what can we expect outside of the spawn. Okay, that's is that a Discord guy? <laughs> that's really amazing. Like I love how they implemented those 3D models. Like that's that's just amazing. And he's on the barrier block. And who are you? Okay, you are the information guy. I'm just gonna stop fanboying about the server and let's see what there to do on survival oh and the server guide okay as you can see as you have in dragon spine guide user statistics spawn zone warps menu ranks menu votes menu basically everything that you have here it's like on our server or any other server you have a main menu or a guide where you can access all of those things at a spawn so in this case it's a server guide but yeah let's go and see Beginning your survivalist journey or survival journey. Let's go to overworld. Teleporting in three seconds, and that's a nice weapon skin you got there. Okay, better RTP spotted. And we got teleported. And let's see. So yeah. The classic survival. Let's see. I'm just gonna play a bit and record if anything interesting come up. But as I said, I already love this server, so I could maybe create a series on it. If anyone would watch it, I don't know, I don't care, I'm making it for the fun of myself and to improve my English language and to, you know, do something because living in a village is really interesting when there's nothing to do after hours. You finish your job and that's that. You have a whole day of nothing. So yeah, see you in a bit when I find something interesting. Okay, so I said I'll start recording when I find something interesting and something interesting I did find. Season 2 Roman God Pluto. Challenge the boss for rewards. Purchase the boss egg here. So looks like there's a whole big boss guy that you can fight somehow and he's doing his stance non-stop. Like changing from, I don't know, fight stance to idle stance. But yeah, look at that absolute deal of a guy. Let me see if I can pull up something else at a spawn. And just as I'd say that, of course I can look at those crates. I love those 3D models. I don't know if those guys custom made them because I didn't see those custom models before for purchase on asset stores for Minecraft. But holy snap, look at that big boy. It's a spawner. I guess it's a spawner chest. Okay, can I see what's inside? Yes, I can. And I was right. Okay. Nice. I love it. And let's see what we can get in wild chest. A lot of something. Well, basically, you know, basic Minecraft items that you can find in the wild. Makes sense. The vote chest gives 
pets key, sakura key, nexus key, and a lot of, you know, normal Minecraft items. And I love that you can see the rates. And if I'm not wrong, I know exactly which plugin this is. So yeah, that's that. Let's see what the other crate do. So Nexus crate, oh, oh, oh. Okay, they are using custom enchants and they're using some kind of special items because the, for example, Voltage Hammer has ability every 30 seconds you can cast a lightning bolt that deals 18 damage, okay? Deals 2.5 times damage to the hostile enemies. Yeah, interesting. Pet zone. Oh, yeah, I cancel the teleport. Smart. I actually wonder if PvP is big on this server, because look at those stats, or if this gear is, you know, just for the bosses, because those custom entrants, either advanced entrants or entrants something something, I forgot how the plugin called, but as you can see, there's a lot of custom item and care and love put into those items. So I'm wondering if PvP is a thing on this server because they mentioned they have keep inventory. Okay, Infinity Glowstone. They mentioned they have keep in inventory. So that means that, you know, you don't drop items on that. So who knows? I guess we won't find out about that part. And this is the pet studio. So there's hostile pets. Okay, so that's a crate. Excuse me, my lag a bit. So yeah, just basic pets. I don't know if they do anything. Farm pets. Oh, you can have all the colors of the sheep. And llama. To access your pets, use pets. Let's see, do we have any pets at the start? We don't. I don't know what did I expect. Wild pets, okay, and aquatic pets. I mean, I don't know if the pets give any bonuses or if they are purely cosmetic, but yeah. Hello there, Axolotl. Hello there, Bees. Hello there, Vindicator and <laughs> Compressed Sheep. Now, I have no idea how did I get Pet Witch. Oh, right, I, did, I had a Pet Crate key, so let's actually test out if the Pet Witch does something. Okay, let's do pets, and let's see, a pet witch. You do, I don't know, pet of nickname, none. Okay, so wait, wait, nay. You're gonna be named, name, but what is the nickname? Ah, okay. And you have inventory, okay, you're gonna carry my goat spawn egg. But apart from that, you are Purely cosmetic as I see. Let me just try and find a hostile mob and see if she will attack them or if she will just, you know, exist. Hello there creeper. I got a friend for you, so meet the name. Creeper, name, name, creeper. Wait, you can die? Why did you take damage? Okay, we need to test this out. Zombie with golden pants. But I don't think he will attack witch because, you know... Okay, that's not very pet friendly of you coming into, in front of me, you know, block my inventory. So please don't get in front of me. And did I get an iron from the zombie? Okay. So we got pants with projectile protection too, which are worse than our stuff. And yeah, I don't think you're gonna die today. So consider yourself lucky. So far, apart the custom stuff at the spawn, and this rain to ruin my bitrate on the video. Oh, well, the server seems pretty, you know, community oriented as they well advertised and a survival. Peaceful and quiet survival server with pure custom stuff and a witch named name. Yeah. Let's go find the village. So I wanted to show you a village I found, but. 220 pink baby zombie kicking my ass and let's repair the world and let's see what does the village have to offer us if we can cross there safely 
Let's see if there can be any custom items in the server in the... Well, hello, villager. Okay. What do you do? Nothing. Okay. And let's see. So, oh, hell no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Why is it always babies? Why am I... Holy hell, so many... Nah. Nah, I want to go up, 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 up. No, why, why there's so many baby zombies on this server? Holy hell. So many zombies, like, look how many. Like, this guy, this dude. Well, he got lucky, but uh, look how many zombies are there. Am I playing a different game? Or am I getting raided by, you know. Oh, no, 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 hell no. Nah. Okay, 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 that's not what we wanted to do. Iron Golem, go help me, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, why did the villagers leave the doors open, you stupid guys? You wanna die? And Iron Golem to the rescue, and kids attacking him again, holy. Why are there so many zombies? Look there. That's a zombie apocalypse outside. Yeah, the fight continues, but looks like I'm gonna die. So, there is so much zombies, like... Yeah, I ask a staff member to come and check it out if this is normal, but look at this. <laughs> those are not the normal zombie numbers. Like, no way those are normal zombie numbers. But yeah, fun times. Oh, no, 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 why kid again, why? So let's do a quick crate opening and see what do we get. Inventory clean and empty and let's see. So, okay, it's this animation. I know this animation. Like, <laughs> I'm a server owner. Well, previous server owner. So let's see, what did we get? Team pen pancake, tag voucher. Okay, two. And nexus key. So we got two nexus key, unbreaking three and mending book. Okay. So, Nexus key is over here. So, let's see, what do we get? Static shovel, efficiency 6 and fortune 4, I think. And it gives haste 2. I think, or it should give haste 2. I'm not sure, but yeah. And there are diamonds everywhere. I don't know if that hints that if you, you know, dig with this shovel, you have a chance to drop shovel or it if it's just a, you know, quirky tooltip. And let's open another one. And we got two static shovels. What a luck. And let's see, Team Pancake. So, vouchers, okay. Confirm. And I redeemed the voucher and... Huh. Egg vouchers. So, for example, I think it's tags. And, oh, I see, pancakes. Okay. Okay, and if I'm not wrong, now if I type, it should say Pancake Traveler and my name. Amazing. So yeah, this was a Dragon Spine server, our first ever server review. What rating I would get from, for example, 1 to 10? I would give it 10 out of 10. They have amazing community, it's a small server for now. From what I've seen, they have a lot of things going on around, as you can see on the spawn, as we explored. Apart from that, outside of the world, I think it's a normal survival, but there's a lot of other things I didn't get to yet. But if you seen things like their currency, I think there's a lot of stuff that, you know, if you're interested in those kind of servers, you might find interesting. But anyways, yeah. I am not good at the stuff, this was a pilot video, so if it goes well, we will see, if not, we might replace a uh, server review Wednesday with something else, or maybe we can just keep on doing like 3 plugin videos a day. Anyways, yeah, I won't take your time anymore, thank you guys for watching, and stay awesome. See you guys next time, bye!